In 2032, something that hasn't happened in 5,000 years could unfold right in our cosmic backyard. NASA is warning that a 30 kilo sized asteroid has a chance of slamming into the moon. Now, this spectacular collision could create a breathtaking new media shower for us here on Earth, but it also poses a sneaky threat to the technology we depend on every single day. Astronomers have just refined the path of this asteroid named 2024 YR4. At first, it looked like the Earth was in the crosshairs. Now, our planet is safe, thankfully, but the moon might be in for a really, really bad day. So what would this impact actually look like, and uh, how could it actually create a brand new celestial light show? And just how serious is the risk to our vital network of satellites? When asteroid 2024 YR4 was first spotted on December 27, 2024 by the Atlas Telescope in Chile, it got everyone's attention, and fast. Initial orbital calculations revealed a worrying possibility, a small but not zero chance of it hitting the Earth. Those odds eventually climbed to 3.1%, the highest ever recorded for an asteroid of its size, and it shot to the top of NASA's Century Impact Risk Table. An object like 2024 YR4 estimated to be about 174 to 220 feet across, roughly the size of a 10-story building, is what's known as a city killer. It's not big enough to cause a global catastrophe, but a direct hit on a major city could release the energy of a powerful nuclear bomb. The threat was incredible enough to trigger notifications to international groups, including the United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs. To get a better handle on the risk, astronomers scrambled to gather more data. They pointed our most powerful observatories at the rock, including the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope and, crucially, the James Webb Telescope. Webb's incredible precision and infrared vision positioned above our blurry atmosphere provided vital data to refine the asteroid's path. By early 2025, the planetary defense community could finally breathe a sigh of relief. The updated trajectory showed that 2024 YR4 posed no significant risk to Earth in 2032 or any time in the foreseeable future. Our planet was safe. But the asteroid story was far from over. As scientists ruled out an Earth impact, the numbers pointed to a new, and in some ways even more fascinating possibility. A direct hit on the moon. With Earth in the clear, all eyes turned to our natural satellite. The same orbital data that spared us revealed a small but stubborn chance that the asteroid would hit the moon on December 22, 2032. As more data came in, the probability of a lunar impact actually rose, settling at 4.3% as of the last update from NASA in June 2025. While that still means it's very likely to miss, a 4.3% chance is considered incredibly high for this kind of cosmic event. In the vastness of space, that's more than enough to get scientists full attention. So what if that 4.3% chance becomes a reality? An asteroid the size of a 10-story building hitting the moon at cosmic speeds would release a staggering amount of energy, estimated to be around 6 megatons of TNT. The impact would blast a brand new crater on the lunar surface, possibly up to a kilometer, or over half a mile wide. For context, that's in the same ballpark as the famous meteor crater in Arizona. This would be statistically the largest lunar impact in 5,000 years. The initial flash from the collision could be so bright it might be visible from Earth with a naked eye. A new temporary star in our night sky for a few seconds. For astronomers and stargazers, it would be a monumental event, a chance to witness the violent creative forces of our solar system reshaping our celestial neighbor in real time. NASA has reassured everyone that an impact like this, while dramatic, won't change the moon's orbit. So our tides are safe, but the consequences of this cosmic smash-up wouldn't just stay on the moon. They'd ripple across space right towards us. The most spectacular result of a lunar impact for us here on Earth would be the birth of a brand new and totally unique meteor shower. The explosion would blast an enormous cloud of lunar rock and dust into space. Scientists estimate as much as 220 million pounds of it. While most of this debris would fall back to the moon, a significant chunk could escape the moon's gravity and start a journey towards the Earth. And this wouldn't be your typical meteor shower. The annual Perseids or Geminids are just Earth passing through the old dusty trails of comets. This new shower would be made of something far more special. 
actual pieces of the moon. This lunar debris would enter our atmosphere at a relatively slow speed for a meteor, around 25,000 miles per hour. That sounds fast, but the Geminids zip in at a blistering 37 miles per second. This slower entry means the shooting star would likely be dimmer and last longer. But what they might lack in brightness, they'd more than make up for in sheer numbers. The shower could last for several days, filling the sky with far more meteors than usual. For a few nights, almost every shooting star you'd see would be a tiny piece of the moon burning up, a direct visible link between this historic impact and our own sky. While a meteor shower made of moon dust sounds amazing, there is a serious catch to having millions of tiny moon rocks hurtling our way. This sudden storm of debris would pose a major risk to the thousands of active satellites we rely on. Our modern world runs on this orbital infrastructure for GPS, global communications, weather forecasts, financial systems, and national security. Even a tiny millimeter-sized particle traveling many times faster than a bullet could severely damage a satellite's sensitive electronics or solar panels. Researchers estimate that in the days and weeks after a lunar impact, the satellite fleet in low Earth orbit could be exposed to the equivalent of a decade's worth of normal space debris damage packed into a very short time. While most of these tiny impacts would likely cause damage rather than completely destroying satellites, the cumulative effect could be severe, leading to potential mission failures. There is also a trickier risk. If a critical intelligence or military satellite were to suddenly go offline, it could create geopolitical tension. Was it a natural event or something hostile? Protecting this vital infrastructure could become a top priority for space agencies worldwide, if the impact happens. The story of Asteroid 2024 YR4 is a fantastic example of planetary defense in action. It's a real-world demonstration of how astronomers find, track, and assess potential threats. For now, the asteroid has faded from view, too far and faint for our telescopes to see as it continues its journey around the Sun. We won't get another good look at it until it swings by again in 2028. Those new observations will finally tell us for sure whether the moon is going to get hit or not. We'll know whether we need to brace our satellite fleet for a barrage of moon dust, or if we can simply look up and watch a city killer asteroid fly by safely. This event, whether it ends in a near miss or a spectacular collision, is an incredible scientific opportunity. It's a live fire drill for planetary defense and a chance to learn more about how impacts shape worlds. And if it does happen, it will be a historic astronomical event, giving us a front row seat to one of the most powerful forces in the cosmos, and a celestial light show thousands of years in the making. If you find the ongoing saga of Asteroid 2024 Wire 4 as fascinating as we do, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll be sure to bring you updates as soon as astronomers get their next look at this incredible object in 2028. And as always, thanks for watching.